us, that's a distinction without a difference, because we're looking for the truth. And your organization has not provided us with the truth in a timely fashion. What I'm seeing with Lois Lerner's emails is really a culture of obstruction at the IRS. I mean, for her to be worried right on the heels of this draft IG report that people, Congress may search her instant messages, ooh, perfect, the, you know, the, the settings aren't like that, that is very, very troubling, because she wants to be able to conduct her operations according to her ideology without oversight from the American people on behalf of the Congress. So, mm -hmm. so that is very, very troubling to me. And you know, she's copying Nanette Downing, who is the head of the exams department, uh, which is, is very much troubling. So you, what you've told us, last hearing you said, hard drive crash, well, these things happen. The odds of that happening innocently right on the heels of Dave Camp's letter are astronomical, based on the hard drive failure rate you gave us, based on the fact that it was those 10 days right after camp, and based on the fact that it was totally unrecoverable. They have recovered data from the Challenger explosion from 9-11, so somehow Lois Lerner's emails was totally unrecoverable. So that is an, uh, a coincidence of absolutely inexplicable proportions, and I think that's why the American people, 75 percent, do not believe the explanation that the IRS has provided. Um, let me ask you this. Why are we just now hearing about this OCS system? We have supposedly had the FBI investigating this for a year. No one at the, FBI, uh, at the IRS ever told the FBI that there were communications using this system? I didn't Why didn't anyone at the, F at the IRS ever tell the Congress I never that there were these? The subpoenas are written very broadly, and they would absolutely have included this, not simply the email. So what is the reason for withholding that from Congress? Uh, you asked a lot of questions, if I could answer them. Uh, I have no information as to whether anybody told the FBI or not or was interviewed by the FBI about the OCS system. So it's, uh, I, I have no basis of not saying one way or the other, so I don't think it's fair to say nobody told them. We don't know whether anybody told them. Uh, secondly, we have produced the information to you, and you now have, the tax writers have all 67,000 Lois Lerner emails. You will soon have- With OCS, you have produced that? And the OCS, as they noted, the, at this point, first I have heard about it, I looked at this, says the OCS system, whatever it is, by itself does not get retained, but, as it is noted, you should assume, Lois Lerner's advise you should assume that it is retained because it is easy to turn it into an email. And I would also note, I have no, I am not here to defend Lois Lerner, I have never met her, but in terms of getting rid of emails, it should be noted there are 43,000 Lois Lerner emails from April of 2011 until May of 2013 that have been produced. So in terms of getting rid of emails, uh, there were 43,000 that she didn't get rid of uh, after the hard drive crash. Well, but that number is meaningless. If there are critical emails that have not been produced, that have, quote, unquote, been destroyed, that means the American people aren't giving, being given the whole truth. And I yield back. 